Hello everyone. So this is my journey of learning, uh, machine learning using Aurelie and Jerome's the Scikit Learn book, Scikit Learn and the TensorFlow book. And um, so we have um, previously looked at the all the numerical attributes in the data. And so let me import my data from test stream. This is just I wrote a small script uh, and then uh, basically the data d of equal to you know so d of uh, if this is the d of the whole thing so if I do d of dot uh, d types see so we looked at all this flawed you know the the, uh, the numerical values and now we will just separate the pro ocean proximity so d of dot ocean proximity right this is the like close wherever it is in the near to the ocean or it's an island you know all those values this is the label values so whenever we have something like that uh, what we can do for example for example we have some say category something like movie genre right so we have some horror films and then say comedy and we have thrillers and say drama right maybe something like horror horror comedy something so here um now one of the ways of if we, the, the idea is to set instead of using labels we use some numerical attribute you want to convert so I can say horror is something is, I can represent by zero, comedy represent by one, thriller two, this is three, and this is say four, right? So I can immediately convert, I can go through the go through my data and convert it, convert them. But sometimes what the trouble also is that if you look at the separation between these two, uh, if you look at this and this are uh, some kind of related horror and comedy and horror, you know. In that way but the separation is far away so they are not really one-on-one -on -one corresponding between the separation between the numerical and uh, um, numerical values and the actual label label values so so instead of doing this what one can do is we can uh, convert this as as some as by kind of a binary representation means we'll say zero this is zero's position so all the values so all the attributes we have one two three four five so if it is horror it's my first place i'll keep that position as one rest of them all zero right and if it is one if I only that value that position is one and zero 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 if it's two zero zero one zero zero and zero 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 one and zero and zero 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 and one so so we have what we're doing we are representing the same idea in terms of like some kind of a binary representation so this is here this is we say wherever it is present if it is a horror that value is hard okay and rest are something like cold values right so uh, and here it is hard so we call this process a one heart encoding so this is what so we'll do first this step and then we'll do this so basically we don't have to do it manually we can use the scale and there are some tools to do that so that's what we are going to check out so here what we do is let me say d of label or something right so d of dot ocean proximity right this is the thing and now i'm going to take it and from sk done sk learn dot pre processing import we are going to import the label encoder and say I'm going to encode uh, say LB encoder or something like 
say LB encoder is, is label encoder, right? And now I am going to transform my DEF um, label encoded. Okay, DEF label encoder is equal to LB encoder. And I'm going to pass DEF label. Uh, so I'm going to sorry fit transform okay so I'm going to say so I took uh, the label encoder and I applied on the fit transform and I passed df label so now if you look at the df label encoded see yeah all, all of them has been converted into this so now if I say pd dot okay, data frame and if I take uh, my df label encoded right and if say the columns maybe a right if I say unique value so you can see that 0 1 2 3 4 etc these are the unique values in this one right and I also can look at uh, I have this label encoder. We can look at the what are the different classes the labels present lb encoder dot classes. Okay. So we have this ocean. So this is zero to one, one, two, three, four. Those are my categories. So now, as I said, we are going to move into a one hot encoding, right? If it's only one or each ocean, that will be one zero zero zero. And we have five, I think five categories. So if it is inland, it will be 0, 1, and, and so on and so forth. So for that, we are going to uh, so from sklan.preprocessing import, we want one heart right encoder, and then my one heart enc encoder or something like that equal to one heart encode right and then i'm going to pass the df label so which is the value is the value uh, yeah this guy right this is what we want so first of all we'll get the one heart encoder equal to one heart encoder and then as again i say df one heart right is equal to one heart encoder dot v2 fit transform right and then df label encoder value so now if you see that it's it is getting expected a 2d array right so if you look at df if you look at df label encoded value see it's like a 1d array you know we it is like it, it wants a 2d array so we need to reshape it so if i say from numpy right numpy is np if i say uh so z equal to one two three four five right and if i make z equal to np dot array z so this is my z and i can if i want to make this, this is a 1d1 and if i want to make it a 2d i can reshape it reshape it and you can pass the shape i say four it's moon and orange so five if i do five one i can do that if i don't know the five right if i don't need to remove, i can also put a minus one so this is what exactly we are going to do. So if you have df label encoder guy, this is like that. You can do reshape, for example, minus one one. Right? Becomes like that. So uh, so now uh, if you do uh, so we were doing so what uh, say df say one and harder is that one 
So df1 hat equal to we are going to do df this is df um, label encoded dot reshape right reshape you're going to pass the shape minus one one right everything is fine yes so it is giving a, me a sparse matrix. So you, if you imagine in your mind, so we have all this one, um, all this binary representation, right? One heart, like Z1000 or 0100. If you have big gigantic thing, uh, it's a really, really big matrix. So to so save memory and make it faster and all those uh, nice things. Uh, we can we can represent it by a sparse matrix where we only say where it is hard the one you know only only those positions of one so if you want to really see that you can say df1 uh, right to array so you see this is the idea right so we get this is what we wanted so now we did it in two different steps right first we made df label and then we made into df label encoded and then we did the one heart encoding so we can also jump and do the whole thing uh, in one shot using the binarizer encoder uh, so we can say from scale and dot pre-processing import label i think it's uh, this guy binarizer and then say L by I or something label right here I'm gonna say sparse output equal true so otherwise default value is it will give you the whole thing so just to be consistent with what we have been doing uh, say L by nine and then now um, so df1 hard and code it something like that right l binar dot what we need to do is fit transform and then uh, we can rather than passing the encoded one we can just pass it label right so this is a sparse matrix and two array see the whole thing so this is the idea so we have taken the label attributes attributes and uh, and we are converted into a numerical uh, representation and uh, so we are going to so this is the uh, point so we can do it in two steps or we can read it in one step using the label binarizer and um, uh, so this is uh, this is the idea and i and when i uh read it first time it was a bit uh confusing but when i went back and uh, did it it felt, felt easy and clear um i believe it's easy to follow you for as well uh, thank you very much for watching